Hey devs, back again. Today we're going to be talking about developer options. We're going to look at what they are, how to enable them, and then we're going to take a look at a few particularly useful developer options that you might want to start using while you're building your apps. Now developer options are settings within an Android device that we can enable to help us test different things while building our applications. The uses for these vary from debugging layout code, helping track down network requests or other long running tasks that are being done on the main thread, or even helping test right to left support. A good idea to know what these are and how to use them in case you run into one of these use cases where a developer option could save you a lot of time and effort. Let's start by taking a look at how to enable developer options on your device. Open up the settings, scroll to the bottom, and select the system option. Click on about emulated device, and then click on the build number until you see the fun little toast that says you are a developer. Hooray! You should now see the developer options item and the system settings. If you click on that item, you'll be taken to the developer options screen. You see that the options will now be on automatically. And if you toggle the button off and back on again, you'll see the little dialog that basically says use with caution. Now, one of the first things you might notice is that there are a lot of developer options for many, many different use cases. If we start scrolling, you'll see they're broken into sections like debugging, networking, input, drawing, hardware accelerated rendering, media, monitoring, apps. We have a lot to choose from. Now, one of the first that I wanna call out is in this top section here and it is the stay awake option, which means that your screen will not turn off while charging. Now this doesn't matter much with an emulator, but if you're using a physical device to test, this is really useful because it means you won't have to turn the screen back on after it's been sitting for a while. Next up, we can enable quick setting tiles for developer options. In this case, we're gonna enable the show layout bounds tile and the force right to left layout direction title. Once we have those enabled, we can drag down on our quick settings menu, click the edit button, and drag those new developer option tiles into our menu. Once the developer option tiles are added, we can quickly toggle those options on and off. This is really useful, particularly if you're working on localization or messing with layout code. You see here, we can very quickly turn on the show layout bounds option or force our phone's layout to be RTL oriented. These are really useful and I encourage you to add them to your quick tiles menu. If you're gonna be debugging with a physical device, you'll probably want to select the USB debugging option. Once you turn that on, again, you're giving a dialog that basically says use with caution. This is intended for development purposes only, but that's okay because we are developers using the developer options. As we continue to scroll down the list, we'll see a whole slew of networking options that we can use to test and debug various network connection states. When we get down here to the input section, I wanna call out the show taps option. This can be really useful if you are presenting via a screen share or creating a video for a presentation. It conveniently shows a little circle around where your cursor is currently. Now we've already seen several useful options in the drawing section, including the show layout bounds option, which shows us the bounds of all the views within our current layout. And we've also seen the force RTL layout direction, which allows us to easily debug RTL layouts for localization. 
There's also several options for animation scales. At the bottom of the drawing section, there's also the smallest width option. This gives us the smallest width in DPs of the current device. This can be really useful if you're customizing resource values based on the smallest width dimension. If you're looking to improve your app performance, you could look into the strict mode enabled option under the monitoring section. This will make the screen flash when long operations are performed on the main thread. And finally, under the Apps section, we have the Don't Keep Activity setting. This will destroy your activity as soon as the user leaves it. This is really useful if you want to debug how your activity is recreated once it's been cleaned up by the system. You then don't have to wait for an undetermined period of time for the system to clean up that activity. So it's very useful. All right, that's it. So that's a quick overview of what the developer options are and a look at a few really useful ones that hopefully you can start using in your day-to-day -day work. Do you have a favorite developer option that you use all the time? Leave a comment down below and let us know what it is. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Until next time.